Hello everyone. Welcome to the basic session of MA Entrance Economic Examinations 2020 to 2021. Let me start by giving you a brief of what is Artha Point. So basically Artha Point is an economics coaching institute. It is launched by DSC Alumni and our main aim is to help you help all the all the economic honors students and students from other background also to crack various MA entrance economic exams, especially Delhi School of Economics and Indian Statistical Institute. But not only those, we also focus on other institutes equally. We understand that as time is passing, the level of the competition that is there is increasing. And since the level of the competition is increasing, we should be giving our best shot at the exams. We at Artha Point help students to go that extra mile and learn beyond what they have learned in their undergraduation level. For example, most of the time it is observed that the kind of microeconomics, macroeconomics that is asked in DSC entrance exam is of much higher level than what is taught in the second year of uh, economic honors. So we would cover not only the basics, but also the advanced topics of these subjects. So the first question that arises in the question of in the mind of any student is why masters in economics. Now, uh, you know, when when we were in DSC, one uh, major thing that our professors used to highlight is that this is this one program. Of course, if you have interest, that's the big thing. But then this is that one program that helps you to uh, sort of get the highest net return out of education. So, you know, when you invest in, in your MBA, when you invest in IAMs, when you invest in big institutes, big MBA institutes, there is a lot of fees involved. Approximately the fees uh, that is involved is as long as around, around, you know, it starts all the way from 8 lakhs to it goes to 20 lakhs for the MBA institutes. Corresponding to that, as against that, if I talk about Delhi School of Economics or I talk about other uh, economic institutes, the fee ranges from approximately 8 to 10,000 per, per annum to approximately 30 or 40,000 per annum. And the job that it fetches you is going to give you a salary which is equivalent to the job that an MBA student is going to get. The amount of scope is immense once you do masters in economics. You know, you can go for corporate world, you can go for from investment banking to marketing to research to analytics. The, the number of verticals are wide enough. There are various verticals where you can go. At the same time, having said this, you can also go for research and you can go ahead and do your PhD and you can go into research or you can go and apply for being an IES, Indian, you can go for Indian Economic Services or you can go for IAS. So one question that a lot of students have is that, you know, I haven't really done my bachelor's in economics and am I still eligible to, uh, you know, do masters in economics. So even if you do not have an academic background in economics, you can go ahead and pursue masters in economics. But in that case, one big suggestion that I have is that you must go through, especially if you're applying for Delhi University entrance exam, but even if you're not applying for that and you're applying for other entrance exam, one suggestion that I have is to go through the curriculum nicely of what has been covered in the economic honors three year syllabus. Of course, you don't have to do all the subjects. For example, uh, you don't have to do Indian economy in detail. You don't have to do 
uh, ESS in detail. You don't have to do uh, a lot of subjects like MFM, like financial economics in detail when you're starting your entrance exam. But there are certain subjects uh, from economics honors that you should fetch even if you are not from the economic honors background. To name a few, you should focus a lot on micro, on macro, on mathematics. You should go ahead and focus on statistics, on econometrics, and some part of game theory also. So, uh, you know, uh, some genuine information that is important is that uh, we would be having our next we would be having a trial class on 4th of July 2020. Now, uh, this is going to be a trial class. And for, along with the trial class, what we're going to do is that uh, we would be sharing some basic videos of micro, macro, statistics, and maths to give you a gist of how we teach at other point. Uh, the class type is going to be recorded plus live sessions. We would be sharing a lot of recorded videos on all the subjects. And along with that, we would be also having live discussions. So for example, you know, a basic production function is something that would be covered in recorded lecture. But once you understand the basics of what a production function is, how to implement that and what kind of uh, questions come up from those production functions and how to use ISO cons would be something that would be covered in the live session. Now, uh, an online platform would be given to you and the fees would be 30,000 for the entire year and this would be inclusive of GST. Now, few features of the program are that uh, we would have approximately uh, more than 100 lectures. Uh, we would be covering more than 10,000 questions which would be spread across these six main subjects. We would be doing a lot of assignments. We would be doing a lot of MCQs, a lot of quizzes. All the past years of all the universities would be covered. And not only those past years, but also mock tests, which would be very similar to what, what has been asked in the past year would be given to the students to practice. So we would have a lot of mock tests. We'll make sure that you complete them on time. We'll also make sure that, you know, a three hour paper is done by you in three hours and, you know, time is properly managed. Ideally to uh, speak of the different um, groups or in the, uh, in the sequence of importance, uh, you have DSC and ISC at the top, followed by JNU, followed by Jamia, Madras School of Economics, Gokhale and Hyderabad University, followed by IGIDR and followed by South Asian University, Terry, Ferguson, Christ, etc. Now, this is the exact way in which we would be covering our mock test and the level of importance that we would be giving to the different groups. To give you uh, the main books that you should study, uh, you know, uh, which we would obviously be covering, but a few of the main books that should be covered for MA Economics entrance exam are uh, Varian for microeconomics. Uh, you know, here I would also suggest you to do Snyder and Nicholson for the numerical part. Uh, then we would be covering Don Bush and Fisher, Mann-Q and Blanchard for macroeconomics. Uh, for maths, uh, one of the favorite books that we have is Sidister and Hammond, which is covered in uh, Economic Honors also. But once you do Sidister and Hammond for a better practice and analysis, it is always a good idea to go ahead and practice Chiang. For statistics, Nagar and Das is by far the best book that, that is known to us uh, that we should practice. And for econometrics, Gujarati is a good book to practice. That's the only book that is covered in economic honors. And that's the only book which you also go ahead and, I mean, he, the only author whose books are followed even at master's level. Now, uh, so these are the main institutes where one should apply. You should go ahead and apply to Delhi School of Economics entrance exam, followed by ISI Kolkata, ISI Delhi, Full, uh, followed by JNU, Gokhale, IJDR, Madras School of Economics, Jamia, and 
Hyderabad University. Uh, other than that, that also, uh, you know, there are other institutes for which we would keep sending you notifications to apply and we would be covering few mock tests for those institutes also. We would be covering a lot. So as, as I already mentioned, we will have, uh, we'll give you uh, folders which would have different topics being covered and separate folders for separate subjects. All the classes that would be covered online would also be recorded and would be shared with the student in case the student misses a lecture. We would also be giving printed notes for the uh, concepts and uh, you know the note should be a gist of what is there in the books that I just suggested. Ideally, the timeline that I would be following uh, would be starting in the month of July, where my lecture would start. I'll go ahead and end the lecture in December, followed by past years and mock tests from Jan to March, followed by some exam specific questions. So as and when we'll keep getting, uh, you know, as and when we'll keep getting the notification of different exams we would uh, keep doing the questions which are relevant to those exams. So, you know, the way that Sao asks question versus the way that ISI is going to ask question would be way too different and would be way too different in the level of the questions also. So, you know, we have to understand which kind of questions to be practiced when, for example, you would see a lot of macroeconomics being asked in JNU but you won't see that much micro macroeconomics coming in the ISI paper. So we have to sit and under, we have to, you know, do the papers according to which exam is coming next. So then we understand, so the last paper that usually a student ends up giving are uh, Delhi University and also Ambedkar, by the way, for which you also have an interview. So Delhi University exam takes place in the month of June and may end and june would be mainly focusing on the mock test and past years of delhi university entrance exam now one more question which a lot of students ask which i would want to answer is that they are in their fourth semester or they are in their third semester and they want to apply for the entrance exam well my suggestion would be not to apply uh, for the entrance exam coaching and the reason is that in the third and the fourth semester, you cover a lot of micro and macroeconomic basic, macroeconomics basics. So, you know, as long as you don't understand what is consumer preference, what is producer preference, how do you derive IS and LM curve, it would be difficult for you to go through the classes that would be covered in the, uh, in the institute. So, my suggestion would be to join the classes once you are there in the fifth semester. One year is an idle time for you to go ahead and study for the entrance exam. In case you still have any queries, you can always mail us or WhatsApp us. Uh, our details are there on the website. Thank you.